talk about how you plan adjusting entries on a worksheet. And so in lesson six one, I showed you what the worksheet looked like. And in this lesson, we're gonna be using these two columns that are outlined here in the big orange box. So we did our trial balance in lesson six one. Now we're gonna use our adjusting columns. So before we start with that, a couple of things kind of wrap your brain around and that is what a prepaid insurance is. So a prepaid insurance is when you pay cash ahead of time for an expense. So, so far we've had prepaid insurance and we pay insurance like six months ahead. If you remember when we did prepaid insurance, I talked about how most people will pay their insurance ahead of time. And sometimes they'll pay it six months ahead of time or a year ahead of time. And then each month that that insurance is used up, you use up a little bit of it. And so that's what a prepaid expense is. Supplies are also prepaid because we go buy supplies. We put them in a supply closet and you don't typically do a transaction every time you take a pencil or a pen or some paper clips out of the supply closet. And so these are the two um, accounts that we're going to adjust with our adjusting entries at this point. So, an accrual basis of accounting is where you report the income when it is earned and expenses when they are incurred, not necessarily when the cash is paid or received. That would be called the cash basis of accounting. Generally accepted accounting principles pretty much require that businesses use accrual basis of accounting to keep their records straight. Um, and so that's what we're doing with doing our adjustments here. And you can read more about that on um, pages 163 and 164 in the textbook if you would like to read a little more about that. So supplies is the first one that we're going to adjust. So like I said, you go and you buy supplies and you put them in your supply closet. And then when an employee gets some paper clips or gets some pens or pencils or paper or something out of the supply closet, they don't have to do a transaction for that every single time they take something out of it. But then at the end of the month, we want to know what is the value of our supplies in our supply closet. And that's done pretty easily by just going and seeing what you have left and you can compare it to the invoices when you purchased them. And that gives you a dollar amount of what you have left in your supplies. The difference between what you started with and what you have left is what you used that month. And that has got to be an expense to the business. And so when you do that, you are going to take the adjustment. So in this example with these T accounts, our balance at the beginning of the month was $620. When we went to the supplies closet at the end of January and did our inventory, we only had $90 worth of supplies left in our closet. That means that we used $530 worth of supplies. So we have to adjust that. So supplies is an asset, has a normal debit balance. So to take $530 worth of that balance of supplies out of our supplies account, we will credit it for the 530. And then the debit part of that transaction is a debit to supplies expense. And so you adjust it that way. When you do the transaction, it'll look like this. You'll go to, it's not really the transaction, but on the worksheet, you'll go to the worksheet and you will take the $530 and you'll credit in the adjustment column because supplies has a debit balance. You need it to go down to 90. So you're going to take 530 of it out with a credit and you're going to put the 530 in the debit column of the adjustments columns under supplies expense. We're going to mark those with a little A in parentheses because what that does is that tells us that those two amounts go together with one transaction so that when we actually do the entries, the journal entries, we can just find them real quickly because they have the A's next to them. Now, prepaid insurance is the other account that we're going to adjust. So we pay insurance ahead of time. So on January 31st, we paid $900 for prepaid insurance. Then at the end of January, 
we've used $150 worth of that insurance. So that's pretty easy because when you pay for insurance, you know that it's a set amount a month. And so $150 worth of insurance was used in that month. So just like with supplies, since prepaid insurance is an asset and has a debit balance, we have to pull $150 out of it with a credit. And then the debit part of that transaction is insurance expense. All we're doing is showing supplies and insurance as what we used up for that month as expenses so that we're matching our expenses with our revenue, which is another gap principle. <clears throat> so again, you go back to your adjustment columns on your worksheet. You're gonna do your credit of 150 in prepaid insurance and your debit of 150 for insurance expense. And then you're gonna label those with the little Bs in parentheses, because that tells us when we go to do our transactions that those two go together. And then just like with your trial balance, you're going to add those two columns up. And since there's only two amounts, it should be pretty easy to figure out if they balance or not. And then you extend your double lines over to show that they, those columns equal. And that's really all there is to doing the adjustments on the worksheet.